real quick video here to show something very interesting my wife found yesterday. I'm going to show this. I'm going to play this thing from the FDIC. This is their official channel here on YouTube. Not many people subscribing to them, which is the way they like it because then they can do their uh, scheming and everything else, and most people aren't even aware of what they're doing. But let's listen to this very interesting thing here in relation to the Bible. For those of us who are working to connect people into the mainstream banking system, this is the most eagerly anticipated biennial report around. It really is an opportunity for us not just to learn about the people that we're trying to serve, but to hope and pray that we actually see this national anti-poverty needle move. Yeah, my impression is it's great that the FDIC takes the time to really coagulate this data so we can understand it in a way and really take actions and strategies to help improve the unbanked situation in this country. It's still unbanked situation in this country? Huh? Unbanked? Continue. Still unfortunate, but what is great is the last report that just came out demonstrated that we're at the lowest mark ever since 2009, so I'm very proud of that. The report from this year told us that we are continuing to make progress in bringing people into the regulated banking system. <laughs> bringing people into the regulated banking system. They want you to have all of your money in the bank. Don't keep your money out. No wealth outside of the banking system because they can't control it. And that tells me two things. One is that we are getting through to people that it's important to be banked and that it helps. <laughs> to be banked? Huh? Excuse me? To be banked? To have your money in a bank? Wouldn't that be more appropriate? But no, see, that's, I'll get into it here as we continue. Weird. Helps provide economic opportunity. And the second thing that it tells me is that we have the right accounts available and they are easily available nationwide and in ways that bring people in. It's just critical what the FDIC is providing uh, to the field in being able to understand what's challenging for folks about engaging with the system and, and also what's working. It's wonderful to see the results and know that the efforts of a lot of um, our partners are really working and getting many, many more people around the country banked. First, the report is good news, the progress of reducing the number of unbanked families because for most... Reducing the number of unbanked families. Most families having a secure, safe bank account is a critical step towards financial stability. Oh, yeah, yeah, from the FDIC that doesn't have enough money to cover everybody's accounts, all the deposits out there. Prove that in another, uh, in another study. Uh, but yeah, you have to watch out for these unbanked people. Uh, kind of an interesting thing because when you think about it, what else do they say? Uh, unbanked. How about unchurched? Don't go to a church building someplace. Uninsured. Oh boy, that's dangerous. Uneducated. How about the unvaccinated? That's very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Unvaccinated. Oh, terrible. Unemployed. Uh, unregulated. I've been called unemployed too, by the way. I'm, I've been working for myself for many years, but I'm unemployed. <laughs> okay. Unregulated. Unapproved. Unregistered. Uh, uninspected. Unpasteurized. Undeveloped. Unofficial. 13 different un things there. Um, I don't know where you're at on the list there, but I'm uh, quite a few of those. But I just find it interesting that, you know, unbanked people, and you get into actually studying what they're talking about there, they are literally talking about people that have money and wealth outside of the banking system. And they can't stand that because it makes liquidity problems. In other words, they want to take your money into their fractional reserve system and spend your money and borrow off of your money and everything else. That's how this whole scam works. But I just found that to be very interesting. Um, in other words, a site like this, Atmex, here, uh, one of the different precious metal dealers out there, uh, if you have stuff like that at home, then you're unbanked. You should probably take it into the bank and keep it in their 
vault at the bank there, the safety deposit box or something like that. No, only if you're half crazy. Uh, no, don't take it into the bank. Uh, you should have wealth. You should have money, excuse me, apart from the banking system. And, they, you know, again, they talked about people that are unbanked, meaning they're not in any bank at all. And then there are people that are underbanked, which, you know, are people that have a small checking account or something like that, but they have, you know, precious metals or other ways of keeping their money uh, outside of the banking system. So just absolutely crazy. But the scripture comes to mind um, about this whole setup here. Um, because a lot of Christians say, well, brother, the mark of the beast is coming in, so why should we fight it? Um, you know, there's different things that we know that the Bible teaches that things will get worse and worse, so why fight it? Um, because the Bible says we're supposed to, right? Um, right here, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The word letteth and let in your King James Bible, basically means to hinder. Again, I've said this many times, if you're playing tennis and you hit the tennis ball um, and it goes and hits against the net, they say it lets it, it stops it, it hinders it. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supp supposed to fight against sin, against evil and wickedness, and stay out of the system. All right. Well, the central bank digital currency it will eventually be a mark of the beast. Yes, it will. Well, then it's prophesied, so we shouldn't fight it. Yes, we should fight it. We are supposed to fight it. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to fight against evil. That's a major part of being a Bible-believing Christian. It isn't just to continually go out and win souls, win souls, win souls, uh, and then they're not trained or we're not supposed to stand against evil or fight sin or anything else. We just, you know, as long as people pray to prayer or whatever, you know, we just get people in and, and they're not trained in anything. No, we're supposed to be like an army that fights against evil. That's what we're supposed to do. So just wanted to put that out there, just show that the thing of the unbanked. Um, pretty crazy. Get out, get away from the system of the world. Be not conformed to the world. All right. Uh, make sure that you're not conforming by keeping all your money in the bank by going to church buildings and all the other stuff that is on the list there that I read earlier. Um, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.